This is the most coveted snare drum of all time, used on many of the biggest records ever made. But is it all just hype? Was it the million dollar studio? Or is there something unique about this snare drum that no other drum has? All will be revealed in this video. This snare drum has been heard on over 40 billion, with a B, streams, according to my crack research team. Probably our first exposure to this snare drum was on Metallica's Black Album, or maybe Nirvana Nevermind, or Offspring Smash, or Rage Against the Machine, Evil Empire, or any other of the dozens of chart-topping rock and metal songs that we heard forever on the radio or in the early days of YouTube and Spotify. And it is still used constantly to this day. So what's all the fuss about? Let's get into it. Now I originally went down this rabbit hole because I wanted the snare sound from Avenged Sevenfold's Hail to the King album. It's this beautiful, fat, nasty, bright snare drum that I just loved. But I didn't have the $15,000 that it costs to buy an OG 1980 Tama bell brass snare drum. Not that they ever come on sale anyways because nobody wants to get rid of them because they sound so good and they know how much they're worth. I went down the rabbit hole to see how could I, as cheaply as possible, get as close to that sound. And my first pick was this snare drum right here. A Trick 14 by seven, three millimeter copper shell inside a pearl free floater. This whole setup cost me about 550 bucks and it sounded miles better than what I had before. However, it doesn't do the thing. Sounds great, doesn't do the thing. Next, I picked up this beautiful snare drum right here. This is a Ludwig Copperphonic, a 14 by eight. Lots of uh, cork sniffers on the internet say that Ludwigs are the best snare drums and that'll get you as close to that sound as possible. This is in fact, by far the best snare drum that Ludwig has ever made. And if you disagree with me, you are 100% wrong. Mm -hmm. This snare sounds awesome. It is uh, thick, fat, nasty, doesn't do the thing. Sounds great, doesn't do the thing. Next after that was this. This is uh, a replica of the uh, Bell Brass made by Savage Drums. This one is a 14 by eight. The exact same alloy, same edges, same hardware, same extended 15 inch snare wires. And this thing sounds fantastic. I even got the Bell Brass hoops on here because uh, they said, well, maybe it's the, the, the Bell Brass hoops will help. So I got those as well. These things sound fantastic. This snare sounds really great. Still not quite doing the thing. And this was uh, a little over $2,000. So now we're getting up there. And then I got this snare drum. Now this is a unique beast. This is a dial tune bell brass snare drum. The shell is also made by Savage Drums. It's a 14 by six and a half, five millimeter. It has a dial on the side that tensions the entire hoop on the top. It's got one for the top head and it has another one for the bottom head. This is the loudest snare drum I have ever heard in my life. It hits like 112, 113 decibels. This is its own beast. It doesn't sound like the Terminator. It's uh, something very different. It has a great killer, unique sound, does not do the thing. And then I got this one. This is a Tama Bell Brass 40th anniversary. This is a beautiful snare drum. It sounds great. It looks even better in person than it does on camera. I put some uh, cast brass hoops on it. This thing records great. It sounds fantastic. It beats the brakes off of every other snare drum that I put it against. When people come in to record, this is the one we use and it sounds great. If this was the only snare drum that I had to record with for all the rest of time, I would be happy with it. Like it sounds great, it records great, but it doesn't quite do the thing. And finally, there is this. Tama Bell Brass 50th anniversary reissue of the classic snare drum that so many of us have been trying to emulate for 50 years now. Commonly referred to as the Terminator, the Tama Bell Brass 50th anniversary reissue has the same unique feature that the original OG80 bell brass snare drum has that no other snare drum has. It's not the mm. muffler, 
It's not the hardware, it's not the paint job, it's none of those. What it is is that this shell is physically bigger than the others. So what happens is when you put your head on there, the collar of the head barely goes over the bearing edge. This drum takes much longer to actually seat the head than it does for other snare drums. And I think what is giving it that incredible unique sound is this extra size that because you are doing some different physics to the head, a little wider space, maybe some, uh, gives us some room for a little more low end, but that is the secret. The fact that the shell is oversized and none of the other snare drums you will ever come across are oversized. And that is the secret. And now I'm gonna show you how all these sound. In conclusion, this snare drum is so good that I am selling all of my other snare drums. I'm not one of those uh, cork sniffers that needs 17 different variations on a theme. I want one snare drum to rule them all. This one sounds better than anything else I've ever heard. Nothing's gonna beat it, so I'm gonna use it all the time. One snare to rule them all, Tama Terminator, right here. Thanks for watching.